This lesson will show you how to create a surface mount pad stack. The pad stack is made up of a copper, which is this square, also has what they call a paste mask. The paste mask allows another machine to come in and put this solder paste on the copper, which is this little uh, mound of copper here. And then another machine comes in, puts a component down onto this paste mask, which holds it in place. And then it goes through another machine, which heats up the uh, solder and the component is uh, uh, mounted onto the board. The other component of the pad that we are going to be creating is the um, solder mask. Now the solder mask is this green stuff. And what it does is it prevents any solder from going from the copper areas to another copper area like this one over here, or it could be a trace, or it could be a via that you don't want it connected to, and it just keeps everything nice and neat. So let's open up the pad stack editor. We're going to go to our start menu. And if you've opened up your pad stack editor before, you'd probably have it here in your main menu. If you didn't, you can go all programs. In this case, we're going to use the Cadence um, 17.2. And then we go PCB Editor Utilities. And then we go to the Pad Stack Editor. So we're going to go File. And we're going to say New, because this will be a new component. And the new component is going to be a 7624 SMD. So you put that into the pad stack name. Now the pad stack usage is not going to be a through pin. It will be a surface mount uh, pin, which is surface mount device pin, which is what we're going to create. We're going to be creating a rectangle. Notice you have several options for your um, surface mount pins. We're going to be using rectangle today. So we're going to open up the Design Layers tab. And the beginning layer will be a rectangle. And then we're going to go in and we'll put in our 76. And we'll put in our 24. And for our thermal pad, now, um, it's also always going to be on the top or the bottom. So the thermal pad is nothing more than the clearance around a pad that is going to be uh, connected to the, um, the copper pore. So where the geometry says none, we're going to put rectangle. And the width, since we want a 10 mil annular ring, uh, we have to make it 20 mils bigger because you have 10 on each side. So that'll be a 96. And the height would be a 44. And to save time, the anti-pad will be the same. So we're going to left click and we say copy. And then we left click here and we uh, right click paste. And it saves you a little time. So now we're done with the uh, regular pad which is on the begin layer. Next thing we're going to do is the mask layers. Remember we did uh, we had uh, solder mask top and paste mask top that we have to fill in. The solder mask top, we want a 5 mil annular ring. So that means we have to add 10 mils to our pad stack. So if we go here, it's not a circle. It's going to be a rectangle. And since it was 76, we want to add 10. It's going to be 86. And the height, remember we had 24. That'll be 34. So that takes care of our solder mask. The next thing is the paste mask top. And again, it's not a circle. It is a rectangle. And that is going to be the same exact size as our um, regular pad, which is 76 and 24. 
and that takes care of that. And if we want to make sure we did everything right, we could look at our summary. It's the uh, 7624 SMD. You can see our regular pad, the thermal is uh, 20 over, which is correct. Uh, no adjacent layers. Solder mass top is uh, 86 and 34, which is fine, which is gives us a 5 mil annular ring. And the paste mass top is exactly the same say, size as your regular pad. And now that we're satisfied with our pad stack, we can say File. We went File and we can say Save. And you're done. And that concludes the uh, lesson on surface mount pad stack creation.